So if a guy uh, if a guy had a bunch of traffic stop tickets and one of them he got a felony and he was going to be before a grand jury, the paperwork he put in would be that he was a man not operating under a license and that he has the right to face his, uh, that the plaintiff must appear, the right to face his accuser. That the wonderful, lovely Mr. Officer made a horrible assumption and that I was a licensed driver when I was simply a man taking my property from point A to point B, and there's no law on planet Earth that requires a man to obtain a license to transport his property to or fro. It's that simple. I should take my property any way I wish. And no man has the right to interfere with my right to take my property any way I wish. It's my property. I'll take it where I wish to take it. Did I cause him any harm? No. Did I terrorize him? Did I interfere with his right to govern? No. Well, then what's the beef? Like I said, soon they're going to say you need three lights on your car, five lights, 17 lights. You need a smog detector. You need a breath light. You need all kinds of nonsense to transport. That's ridiculous. You know how much money it's going to cost? That's what I said to somebody the other day. I think over in England. I said they're making it so ridiculous for you people to afford a car that only rich people are going to be able to transport, you know, from, to then be able to go from point A to point B. They're making it so ridiculously expensive over there. The fuel, everything, the taxes, everything. I said, you know what they're doing. They're making it so the poor people have to use mass transit while the rich people get to use the highways because right now it's bumper to bumper and they want to start having a nice, easy way to go back and forth to drive their Mercedes to work every day. Don't put up with that nonsense. Tell them I'm a man and I'm transporting my property. I'm, I'm, no, not transporting. I I wish to take my property from point A to point B. I'm going to take it from here to there. And, and that's it. None of this fancy driving. None of this fancy private property. None of this fancy uh, traveling. I'm going to take my property and I'm going to take it from here to there. And I don't need a license to do it. I don't need a registration. I don't need your permission. I'm not causing any harm to any man. If I cause harm to any man... I hope there's an affidavit on file. I hope there's a reason why you're stopping me. I hope there's probable cause. You got an affidavit on file that a guy driving a white Camaro did somebody wrong? No. Then you better have a damn good reason why you're terrorizing me, that you're interfering with my right to go from point A to point B. Terrorism? Oh, yeah. That's, that's interfering with the proper function of government. Yeah, well, I'm a self-governing man, and you're interfering with my right to self-govern. You're terrorizing me. I'm going to hold you liable, Bob, who happens to be wearing a badge. Stop terror. I wish you to stop terrorizing me. Once, I'm telling you, man, once more and more people start acting like and start talking like me, they're, they're going to realize what the hell's going on. You know, I don't get all this kumbaya crap, but this is like they say the age of Aquarius. And what's the age of Aquarius? is the time of man. So I just happen to be at the right place at the right time. This is the time of man. I'm teaching everybody, trying to show everybody, stand up and act like an effing man. You only got so many more spins around the sun. Stop being governed by somebody else other than yourself. No more yelling and screaming and stomping your feet in court? Yep, that's right. Make a sweet two, three sentences, I'm done. I'll play that game. How you doing? I'm an idiot. I'll play that game. And like I said, if you actually go into enamaline.org, you'll see the word idiot actually says that that of a layman, that who is not trained in uh, arts such as like surgery, soldiering, lawyering. All I know is that I'm a man. And all I know is I haven't caused any harm, injury, or loss to my fellow man. And that's all I have a duty to my society is to cause no harm. Not to follow 10,000 billion statutes that are 600 feet tall. I'm not going to get in my, out of, walk out of my house every day and see if there's any new statutes that were enacted into law at midnight last night. I'm not doing it. Like I told the judge when I went to court one time, I'm sure I did 817 violations of, a, of the law on the way to court. I guarantee I would be 912 violations on the way home. It has absolutely no concern to me, and I'm not going to lose any sleep that I'm in breach of a, a, a violation of a code. All I'm here to talk about today is, did I break the law? And he was like, well, yeah, and then I had to explain to him the difference between legal and lawful. And he's like, holy crap, you didn't break the law. No, I didn't. 
Did I commit illegal acts? Oh, you better believe it. Am I doing one right now? I, I'm sure I just did 12 right while we were talking. What, what does that have to do with me? I'm not part of your culture. I'm not part of your society. I'm not part of your legal land. I have no idea what's legally illegal. I'm not a legalese person. I'm a man. I don't wish to be a legalese person. I don't wish to be a defendant. I don't wish to be a licensed driver. I wish to be a man. Is there a problem with me being a man? No, not in this land. Maybe in China. Maybe in France, but not here. Not yet. Well, your stuff apparently worked in Quebec. That's code land. Yeah, that's it. I mean, they still know that the that the the number one purpose that a, that a centralized government exists. The reason why men get together, why why those of like minded of mankind get together and create a centralized government, is to secure and protect the property of their fellow man. That is mission statement number one of every single central government on planet Earth. As we get together and we form governments, we'll prop up a king, we'll elect a parliament, we'll put in a congress, we'll put in something to secure and protect each other's property. Whatever form that we devise, we establish and we come together as a community to secure and protect each other's property while the other guy's sleeping so that if somebody comes across the border, invades our island, we'll protect each other. We'll, we'll, we'll act communal. We'll do like the Jesus Christ and act communal, like a commune, like communists. We'll protect each other. We'll take care of each other. That's why people get together and form governments. So, so that's just rape and pillaging at will. Yeah. 